Well, it first started out with a burning in my right arm. Every 10 minutes it would start to go numb, tingle, and I'd have to lift it up over my head to get the relief I needed to get off of it. When Jennifer came to see me, she had been having about three months of arm pain and it was pretty severe. Uh, she thought initially it was gonna go away and then it kept on coming back and getting worse. It would go to that sleep feeling while I was sitting at my desk, while I was driving, at sleep at night. Very inconvenient on sleep, up every hour on the hour. I used to work out four days a week, you know, almost two hours a day, and then I had to completely stop doing that. People don't always put together the, that their arm pain is coming from herniated disc in their neck, but that's exactly what her problem was. Our brains aren't very good at really understanding nerve pain. When it's the nerve itself that's injured, our brain imagines it as being in our thumb or being in our pointer finger or in the back of our arm. So when people have a herniated disc in their neck that's pushing on one of these nerves, and she did, between the six and seven bones of her neck, it pushes on a particular nerve, the C7 nerve, and that causes pain right down the back of the arm and forearm and into the first two fingers of the hand. He just explained how he could go in and clean that disc up, get it all uh, cleaned out. We make a small incision in the front of the neck and we always try to find a crease in their neck we can hide the incision in better. But what we do once we get into the front of the spine and the neck, we cut into the disc and we scrape out most of the disc use a drill to kind of level out the bone. And in her case, once we open the ligament that covers, uh, the, that covers the coverings of the spinal cord, she had a big piece of herniated disc that was pressing on the side of the spinal cord and the C7 nerve. So we remove most of the disc when we get in to do the surgery, so we have to replace that space with something. In her case, we chose to fuse those bones together, so we put a graft, piece of graft bone in between those, the, where the disc was, between the bones, and then we put a plate and screws across the front uh, to stabilize it while her bone heals. After the surgery, you know, immediately had the relief in my arm. Um, recovery time was, I believe, only seven to ten days. I'm back to doing everything I want to do.